it was so great seeing so many of your faces yesterday on that Zoom meeting. If you missed it, no worries. We'll have another one Tuesday, the 21st, I believe. I'll send out that invitation later. Um, same time, like 1030. Um, I'll tell you what you need to bring to it. And um, you guys just made, I missed you. I missed you so much. Like I knew I did, but then seeing your smiling, shiny faces and hearing your sweet voices just really made me miss you more. All right, as promised, so we did the that we did the egg, the good egg. Today we are going to read the book because I forgot to ask you guys when I saw you, but we all know if you've heard the book, if I've read it before, good book is worth um, hearing again. The bad seed, we're going to see sunflower seed. Jory John, written by Jory John, illustrated by Pete Oswald. This is the first book. All right, so this is the first one he, he wrote. All kinds of different shapes of seeds there. The bad seed. Look at that. Making a, a baby, making a baby not cry. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I wonder why he's so bad, right? Oh, yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble, there goes a bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? You guys want to know? Do you? I kind of do. Let's keep reading and find out. Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in line every time. Ugh. Bad. Pretty bad. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences. And I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Oh sure, I wasn't always bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found lots. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped and our flower Drooped. It was kind of a blur. I remember a bag. Uh oh. Where's he going? Especially if you're a baseball player or something, you know about these. Everything went dark. And then. Then, a giant. Miss that. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I hollered. I screamed. Ah, a two. But I was spit out at the end. I was spit out at the last possible second. Here he goes. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. 
I become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care. And it suited me. Until recently, I made a big decision. I decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad. And, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen. And I still show up late. And I still talk during movies. And I do all kinds of other bad stuff. But I also say thank you. I also say please and I smile. And I hold the door open for people. Not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad, sometimes I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not that bad anymore. I heard that. Pistachio. I like pistachios. There you go. The bad seed. Try not to be a bad seed today, all right? Try to be the best seed that you can be.